Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel and we're gonna do a very quick rundown of some of the new stuff that are coming from the new catalog mm -hmm. as well as first sniffs of, well it's not really first, I think we already smelled them, didn't we? Yeah, we got a little gun home. So, or we're gonna just give you guys a very quick rundown of the new releases and what we thought about them as well as some of the things that we're excited about and some of the changes that are coming into this catalog as well as our PWS. Mm -hmm. All right. So what do you want to jump into first, I guess? The new releases, because that's what everybody wants anyway. We want the new releases. Hold on. And there's some really cool ones. I mean, I, I think this year has been like really, really cool with so far with what they've uh, shown us. All right, so this is Alpine Escape. This one is Minty Air, Spruce, and Evergreen. <sighs> this is a cute. This is nice. It's, it's tree smelling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very earthy, woodsy. But it's a uh, mild. It at has least in a that. sweetness. I don't. Sweetness. I I might get a little bit of the eucalyptus. Yeah. I mean, I guess I can pick up on maybe what you're saying. Like, like, yeah, I guess the eucalyptus or uh, like a spearmint. Yeah. Even. All right, balsam spice. So this. I like that one. Cinnamon, charred cedar, and balsam. Oh yeah, I remember this one. This one's really nice. It has like a tree, but that spice and like, cinnamon come through really nice. It makes me think of Christmas, more or less, <sighs> in a nutshell. This one was really nice. And, and I'm not usually a tree, pine, whatever person, but I really like this one. Brown butter pumpkin. Oh man, that makes me want to eat. It makes me think of like a little bit of butter. It is melted like, butter, brown uh, sugar, and pumpkin. I got it right. So <laughs> this is in it. a spice category, but I feel like it kind of falls a little bit with the bakery. Yeah, I because agree. of the buttery. Cherry chestnut. Let me find you. There you are. Black cherry, roasted chestnuts, and whipped vanilla. Oh, this is nice. I don't really get the cherry in it. Now keep in mind when we get the bars of these, um, we'll probably do. Yeah. We'll probably do like a full review of these scents again because it's sometimes it's though. hard. Yeah, it's Some, sometimes it's really hard to get like the scent through these testers. Oh, this one, this one, this one. Let me find it. There it is. Gingerbread pecan waffles. You remember this one? Oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a new product coming. And we walked into. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we walked into the room. That was really nice. Yeah, and really um. God, that was like, oh. Yeah, that was, they had demonstrations for each scent with the new um, Scentsy Air, which, was I not supposed to say that? No, you can't. Oh, <laughs> we'll show it in a minute. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's a really cool device. You can have um, up to four pods and mix, uh, however you want to try to mix it. I, I think it's really cool. And the room this that we were fun. in, yeah, I really, I, I like it. Oh, That's man, it's so good. It's really, really good. It's a bakery scent, gingerbread, molasses, and roasted pecan. So if you're not... You want to smell again? <laughs> oh, I it's, it's nice. It's a very good bakery scent. Very mm -hmm. good fall to me. Um, hay rise. I thought I didn't like this, but when I went into the room, I actually really ended up liking it. Um, it's fresh hay, cedarwood, and crisp apple. I think the apple comes through more when um, when it's in the almost has like an apple cinnamon ish, like a very mild cinnamon, but it, not straight cinnamon. It makes me think of like autumn road trip. Um, it's woodsy and with a hint of fruit in it. Okay, what's next? Leaves and lavender. I'm so mad at Scentsy. I like that one. I'm so mad and at And for Scentsy. a lavender for uh. you, it's good. I think you even said like, I it's, really it's like it, and thing. I can't really warm it if because of the lavender, and that makes me so mad because it is a really good scent. So it's lavender, clove, and fall leaves. And man, it is just like, I don't even, it, it kind of, it, Body, it makes me like, think of Christmas and spice, kind of like the other. It's very soft and like satiny, like and maybe like a cardigan vibe with it. I don't think you know those scents, um, <laughs> but man, it is really, really nice. And this is a spice, and I'm just like, I'm so mad at Scentsy for putting lavender in it. I'm just, anyway, I'll get over it. Um, pistachio <laughs> woods, pistachio almond uh, and like cedarwood. I don't like it um, in the tester. I didn't like it in the bar. Um, but I didn't mind it when it was in the pot. You know something? No, you're gonna have to get it. <laughs> I will warm it. I like it. So. I will warm it maybe once in three months. So, so deal with it. <laughs> vanilla amber is vanilla cream, golden amber, and sweet rum. 
This one's nice. Why is the why you got the cameras up in our faces? I I don't <laughs> I kind of want to say tanning lotion, but not like it's a different kind of vanilla. Uh, yeah, vanilla. And now, see, they put very vanilla. I don't think very vanilla stayed. Um, I think it was. Oh no, it did. Very vanilla is not a bakery vanilla to me. Um, vanilla amber to me can be a bakery because it is a bakery, but it's more bakery vanilla. Mm -hmm. And this one to me is a more like traditional vanilla to me. Um, last but not least is white peach and cranberry. That one was nice too. I mean, all oh, of I them. Like I like that one. I like that one too. It's very light in the tester though. Yeah. So this one is white peach and cranberry. I really. I, I get more peach than I do cranberry. I get more peach. Um, but again, like in the testers versus the bars, the bars will have a much better idea of like how those scents will be because we can smell. Yeah. Every, like the top and bottom mm -hmm. stuff. But that is the new scents, the new releases that are coming, not including all the ones that are returning. Um, but we're going to go over what, what we're excited about. What we're now is my excitement the same as your excitement? Um, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I don't know. First right. off, cotton cleanups. So many people were so pissed that Scentsy changed the cotton cleanups to the mint, like a smaller version. Oh, and they got the larger ones now. Oh, they're also my, still. Everybody went crazy when they announced that they were bringing back the big cotton uh, cleanups now. And they're still keeping the small <laughs> ones, right? Yeah, yeah, small ones will still be available, but they are bringing back the big ones because it didn't was not well received at all. I really liked this warmer. Yeah, that was nice. And I don't think, honestly, that that shows the warmer and, like, good lighting because, like, like the brass on it, oh, it's very gorgeous. nice and polished. It is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me show what else are we excited about. Oh, uh, they got the little boots now, too. Oh, yeah, they got little boots. They got, they got big boots and little boots. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't. Oh yeah. Ball. No, the, that one's the oh. The, the but mini. this one, it's like a portrait of a whole bunch of different dogs. That was the animal animal friend. friend? Furry friends Furry is friend. what it's called. Okay. Um, I thought there was also the the mini. Isn't that new? Yeah, that's new. Yeah. The sunflower. We were gonna look at our highlights, not everything. We're gonna keep it a secret from the rest. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, I like that one. It's really cool. If you're like into Wicca or astrology or I don't know, Wicca is into astrology. No. I thought they were more earthly, like what they We don't know, so we'll shut up. I don't wanna over speak. Um or under and the pig, that's speak. Yeah. Oh yeah. That one. <laughs> um we call Wilbur. I don't think that's his name, but we can call it. Over. And then we have this here. I was more excited about the plant that they had because I've been looking at something like that, but this is the actual artwork. Because <laughs> remember me telling you, I was like, I really like that. Yeah. Because I want something like that and put a, a bit of fish mm -hmm. in it. Right? I was, I'm I mean. I'm not supposed to be in fish bowls, but I got, I got Yeah. Um, none of those are new. Wait. No. Oh yeah, so this is my favorite. I what think. I think we're both excited for. It is the Cincy Air. So the Cincy Air is going to be 115 and it holds four pods in it and it can scent up a room up to a thousand square feet. So it's perfect for your open concept rooms where you don't need any more of the multiple warmers to have mm -hmm. cover everything. Yep. And it's instant fragrance. So as soon as you turn it on, instantly, and it changes colors. I was gonna say it has different color modes, uh, settings like rainbow. I think when we were looking at it, it was like flickering, like a candlelight. Mm -hmm. um, and then it probably has like a constant on, I would assume. And it has settings too. It has a two hour, four hour, and eight hour setting on it. And also speed. I think low, medium, oh, yeah. and high. Yeah, low, speed. So I would high. say like if you probably have a mild scent that's like mild. You could probably kick it on high to get it to maybe perform a little bit better. Or if it's really strong, you may not have to have it on high. You may be and able to put you, it on low. You can mix the scents too. Yes. And um, you can get it half off with a party. You'll need two half off items. So you need at least a party of 350 to be able to get this half off. So you still can get it half off. But I'm super excited for this one. Like I, I liked it. And I was really impressed. Like when you walked into those big rooms, which we'll have a video posted at some point with that too. 
and there's huge rooms and it's like wow like i think the ceilings you said might have been like 17 foot high they were tall yeah and it was like a big big pretty room and each mm -hmm. they had one sense the air with the four pods of each of the new scents and we, you could walk in and you could smell it as soon as you walk in and it's filled yeah. up the some of them yeah, actually smell four but yeah. yeah you definitely got hit with it to the door and the since you go this is a new one. So um, so basically what's happening with Scentsy Go is the old OG Scentsy Go that had um, the, the changing of lights and stuff. Um, that's being discontinued. That was the more expensive one. And the Scentsy Go Solid, which is all white. And that one, I think, what, I don't remember what the full features was on that one. But that one is going to be changing to Scentsy Go Plus. Mm -hmm. And then the... Then a new Sensi Go is coming out, which is this one. It's going to be smaller. It still will hold two pods, but it will also be battery operated. So you'll be able to add batteries to it and not have to worry about charging it, or you can still charge it. Yeah, so it comes with a USB cable to either run it that way manually or recharge your batteries. Um, and it takes two double A's, right? Yes. And um, it seems very user friendly. It's got basically a lock and unlock feature. And then you just turn it to, uh, I think, go from like a low to high or medium to high. Yeah. Um, it's only got two settings for the fan. And on eco mode, um, the battery life lasts for 22 hours. Mm. And I'm assuming that's the battery. And it's got a smaller profile and it feels really nice too with the rubber on the top and the bottom. So it'd probably be less prone to slipping or sliding. Because the other one, if you think about it, um, it only had like little feet pads. Yeah. So it really didn't have like a lot of contact points. So there still was a potential for that to slide. The um, clothes, not the clothesline, the dryer sheets are going to be in the catalog this time. And I'm mm -hmm. super excited because I really liked them. And the scent, a new scent's coming out. And, and the laundry, which is frosty air, mm -hmm. which they didn't bring that scent back, but it's going to be laundry. And I didn't really like frosty air. So I'm not, I'm, I'm okay with it. <laughs> so I don't have to buy it. <laughs> um, and for the body, no, is this no the clean line ocean air coconut water is going to be in the clean line, which I'm excited about because I actually it's one of the very few coconut scents that I actually liked. Mm -hmm. um, and that's going to be in the you clean like line. Coconut. I just, and I just like love it. coconut. <laughs> I don't know, pink coconut, another coconut scent. <laughs> it's going to be in the body line, um, and. I don't, I can't, I liked it. I think I do remember liking that one too. Yeah. Um, and then, hold on, and this new buddy. Look at it, it's so cute. I don't know, do they have new? I was gonna say the weighted, oh, not yeah. the weighted, but the blankets. They're bringing those back. They're I bringing, think it's just the two, right? Yeah, they're bringing them back. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, what else we got here? I think they didn't make any changes into the licensing. I think it's all the same stuff. The new charity warmer. What is that called? Woven? Yeah. And this one, what is the charities for this one? Oh my god, I thought it listed. Uh, nominate the charities you'd like to see supported, maybe. Let's see, how, where, what, your impact. That's what I'm looking at, because normally, normally they list like what the basic of it. oh here it is it's yeah. focused on hunger and food insecurity is what it's going to be that's right okay i remember um, that now what it's going to be and then that is it for all of that last but not least is all of the changes that are coming mm -hmm. it's not too, it's not too bad there's only one that i think is probably the worst in my opinion but we'll say that for last what are you doing why are you assuming i was gonna make different? it more personal for you oh. <laughs> um we are to discuss the Sensi Go changes. Um, the packaging for the body products are going to be changing. I think they're changing it to make it globally, so it's the same for across all of them. Mm -hmm. All the licensing, three and six packs for packs and pods are going to be completely discontinued. So you could no longer do bundled and saved for the licensed um, scents that are in scent packs or pods. Mm -hmm. um, the three packs and six packs that used to be under the bundle and save on our website are going to be gone and but still going to be available. The only reason why they're doing away with it is because the system automatically offers the bundles when you start adding 
the you know pods of bars or whatever and so the upselling features already there so they're just doing away with the option of the bundle under the bundle and save so it's still there you still can get the six pack buy five get one free or whatever like you can still do it <laughs> the system automatically does it for you so it, they just don't need it anymore um i think that's it yeah now the last part oh yeah we already talked about cotton clamps yeah so the only thing that's to me the the major what do you want me to look for i'm just <laughs> just happy to be here <laughs> trying to see is, where this is going <laughs> is the scent circle so one um you can no longer purchase uh, a three or six pack of individual scents. So for example, let's say you want a six pack of scent circles and you want six different scents. You cannot do that anymore. Um, it is only in a three pack of the same scent and then you can, can get a six pack still, but it's gonna be two of the three packs. So let's say you get a three pack of Luna and you want to get a vanilla bean buttercream, you can do the six pack and get three Lunas and three vanilla bean buttercream. The pricing of this also has changed. Um, so this is the new three pack. So the three pack is $10. Um, through that, this pack, it m means that the price did increase by what we figured, technically 33 cents of the actual cent. Thing because the old pack used to be eight dollars, which you saved a dollar, but it was actually you know, nine dollars. You know, I just had it's a so funny kind of, thought. What maybe if you tell them that price and then the old price, and then maybe in the comments, the mathematicians could be like, we, We'll figure it out for you. <laughs> we can't math the math right because <laughs> the three pack bundle used to be eight, but it valued at nine because that was the actual price of each individual. Mm -hmm. Now the three pack is going to be ten. So the value of it went up a dollar, which means they only went up 33 cents. But <laughs> the three pack bundle versus the old one to the new one went up $2. Mm -hmm. The math, we can't math right. Um, the six pack used to be $15 and you could individually get six different cents and now you will not be able to and the three pack will now be 18. So the, the six, no, six pack, <sighs> too many numbers, six pack, <laughs> will now be 18, which makes them all this old pricing of $3 each. You just don't get the same kind of deal as we used to have. So I'm assuming from what I'm guessing and understanding is that people bought more of the same scent and that's why they did away with the individually option and only doing it as a three pack or a six pack and only doing it as one scent instead of being able to mix. Which isn't a horrible thing. It just depends on what side of the spectrum you're on. Cause I guess me and you were talking about that. It's like, yeah, there's some people who are like, probably not gonna like it. Uh, but there are some that's gonna be like, yeah, I mean, I was already buying that. So. Yeah. <laughs> I don't fine. know. I know a few of you guys that buy for me that buy them individually, like different scents. You may not like me for a while, but I'm sorry. Since he did it, hate them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's the only major changes that went into the catalog. So. But there's a lot of collections coming. I was the gonna Harvest, say, we holiday. still didn't even go through quite there's, a bit of stuff. No, <laughs> um, the scents they got returned, what's going to be available in the new products. There's so many collections coming out over the next um, six months. Like, uh, I must, I'll go ahead and tell you what I'm excited about Beal Juice. Damn. <laughs> I was just thinking about that and I was like, maybe we can t like have a hit, but you just went. Like, no. You just said it. I so. grew up on Beetlejuice. You're welcome. She ruined it. <laughs> that would be next month, but there's so, so many more um, collections which, coming. Which is funny because before we came down here, and I think it was like a week ago before coming down here, we were thinking about, it's the LTO, right? Yeah. For, for fall. And, well, whenever it's coming out. But I think the timing of that with the second movie coming out, and that's kind of yeah. what we were thinking. Maybe it'll be Beetlejuice because of the timing and stuff. Yeah, because so since we said there's going to be a secret LTO that's going to be releasing, that's a part of this incentive that's going on right now. And they haven't actually released it, but we thought it was going to be Beetlejuice because Beetlejuice is coming out here shortly. So we were kind of right. Mm -hmm. It is an LTO, but it's not the secret LTO that they're hinting at. So we still don't know what that is yet. Well, there's another thing, but I'm not going to say that yet. Which one? Um, I don't know how to hint towards that one. Is it, is it yellow? Da, 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 da. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
but there's a lot of collections coming coming in um, over the next few months. So if your budget is bigger than your wallet and you want to party, you can go that and go that route we with us. We want to party. Yes, <laughs> we always want to. <laughs> or you can just sign up and become your own consultant and do your own parties and get your own, you know. And that would be back. sponsoring, right? Potentially, yes. or if you, I guess, go with us. Yep. So until the next video of more sneak peeks and stuff going on, um, that is it. So make sure if you have any comments, please don't hate me for the sin circle change. Um, it's not my fault. And if we butchered the math, let us know on the sin circles. <laughs> but oh, moving forward, it is what it is. We we tried. Here, let me let me show you. We, <laughs> we were trying to figure it out, and we just couldn't get it to... We just gave up. So we just said it is what it is. <laughs> So um, if you have any comments, suggestions, or anything else you want to do, drop them in below. And I guess we'll catch you guys in the next one. And don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, click all the buttons, ring all the bells. I feel like all my mascara is like all under here. And hopefully we're entertaining to you guys. Because <laughs> me doing this is very tough. And I'm trying. We're trying. His arm hurts because he's holding it up right now. I wouldn't say it hurts, but I got it propped with my other arm to hold we it steady. We didn't bring like a tripod, so yeah, we're... we screwed up on that one. <laughs> it is what it is. We're making it work. All right, guys. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to show the cover. That's the cover. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.